that peace and the peace of God is in us when we have Him. What do you think man keeps trying? Why do you think man keeps trying? His dead level best to live his life and do things his own way and satisfy himself. You're not going to be satisfied unless you have the freedom that only Jesus Christ can bring you and grant you. He's the one that can change your old ugly behavior. Some of you, I'm telling you, when you receive salvation with him, even ugly people are going to look good. Amen. You know, but see, here's the thing. We try to fly off the handle and handle it our way. And that's what grants us and gives us big trouble in our lives. I, 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 yeah, I agree with you. 100%. Find time and make time for the Lord. Your traditions will not save you and me. Your goodness will not save you or me. Your religion will not save you or me. But your relationship will. If we are to have freedom as, the, as Christians then we are going to have to lay down some things that set us back. Look at Hebrews chapter number 12 and verse number 1 and 2. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed, are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every, every. what does it say? Every weight. weight. And the sin which doth so easily beset us. That means sets us back. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Years ago when I was really into jogging, and I know Jamie's here today, and Jamie jogs, and he trots on him. I see him, I watch the dude, and I'm mad adverse of him doing that. But let me tell you something. I used to wear leg weights on my, on my leg, and I'd go running. I'd go running for two or four miles. When i take those weights off, my feet felt free. You know why? Because there was freedom in my legs. Yeah. Because there was weight on them. And see, here's what the problem is. We somehow or another, we allow weights. We're calling attitudes. We lay weights on us that says, I'm mad at them. I'm not going to get over it. And then, now I'm talking about church folk now. Come on, preacher. Well, that man made me angry at the gas station. Or such and such offended me. You better not have carried those weights with you. Because you know what they're going to do. They're going to take your freedom away. And if you're going to be free indeed, you better have purpose in your heart and in your spirit. This is how I'm going to. I'm going to make it through. And I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to carry it. Very quickly, I would like for just a few minutes, that's my introduction. And I'm not going to be much longer. Here we go. I would like to for you all to consider in your freedom, which I had mentioned just moments ago, what it takes to be free indeed. Number one, we must stop, slow down, and listen. There was an article. Now I'm not going to take time to read it. But number one, we must, we must spend time with the Lord. Amen. You're wondering why you're going through this and you're, why you're going through that and why you're having trouble. I'm telling you, you're not free like that. You're like you're supposed to be free. Well, and I know there are plenty of churches out there. We got, you, you know what? The little old stinky town that I came from, rotten, no good town, that God led me to. There were a hundred and, and uh, uh, I think it was 128 churches in the county. 35, 34 of them in the city limits alone. There was a church on every corner. I'm talking about all churches. There was 128 in the county. There were five Pentecostal churches in the town. So who needed a church? And I'm here to tell you, brothers and sisters, we started, we started doing things. We started bringing and inviting people to the church. Let me tell you, if one thing turned to another, and if we're going to have these pews filled, we're going to have to do a little bit more than what we're even doing. Because I'm going to tell you, God is going to do it. God is going to do it. Not, not Pastor John, but the Lord God is going to do it. Because there's people that need freedom indeed. They need to be free indeed. And they need to know that there is a Savior that loves them. They need to know. 